one of the main things to keep track of that's going to be kind of a big announcement for this video is I'm going to make a list, an actual typed list with descriptions and names and prices and all this stuff on it. One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I got here for you today is going to be a walk around video. The main thing to pay attention to here is the prices. And before we start out, I'm going to show you the lot and what we came up with after my landlord took about 13 spots in total is what I lost. Now, I, my dad's yard is done shut down. We don't have that place. I was moving stuff here, and then this happened. So I kind of split it between here and another place. And in the end, I had parking out to here and down that side. He had his entryway, and then all this was my parking right to the end of this fence right here. Well, I've lost all this. And so I used to have them three wide in here. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I had eight cars right here. So there's eight cars. And then, well, I've lost more spots than that if you figure it. I mean, there's 19, 11, 12, 15, 14. I've lost 15 spots. 15 spots is a lot of spots to lose. This was a good yard for me. It's also now changed the way the access works. I don't even know if I'd be able to get out my Valvoline trailers and stuff like that. So, whatever. I'm having a fire sale, a clearance sale. Something in my eye there or something. Having a clearance sale, getting rid of stuff. I have to get rid of a bunch of cars. I want to get my life and my cars into a manageable area. I don't want to have to work with anybody. That's it. I, I'm Maybe some temp help. Let's go around and start doing the walk around. This is not for sale. But if you're wanting one of these, I got 25 or 28 more in Montana. And they are for sale. Um, this Infiniti Q45, there's a full review on my channel. It's a great little car. I probably put 5,000 miles on it, driving it around. I've been driving the heck out of it. Powerful as can be, you'll love it. Great car. And what I'm gonna try and do in this video is give lots of prices. That's right, lots of prices. Get this car, get it out of here, 2,950 bucks. It is a great deal, like 139 on it or so. Um, this Corvette, it's a nice Corvette. Look at the reviews on my, or the uh, videos on my channel. It's a 95 with 95,000. The interior is just beautiful. It's locked up. Um, everything, I think it's got like the next series up of Corvette wheels on it. Make sure and check out the video though because it's hard to tell with the dust over it. Um, I've actually got a garage I'm gonna be parking this one in. Um, this one, get it out of here before I list it, before I get it anywhere, 6,800 bucks. The motorhome, 2,850 bucks. Get it out of here. Nice motorhome. There'll be a review on my channel in a few days. Just got this in. The paint, the clear coat is a little faded and such, but other than that, I don't know anything bad to say about it, so, you know, so to speak, it's in good shape. See Eddie Bauer with a nice, awesome bench seat inside. Manual, 4.9 liter. It's a nice truck. Government model. Well, government has Eddie Bauer. It's just amazing, huh? So with all that in mind, that truck is for sale. It's a 95, um, nice little rig. Before I list it, before I do anything on this truck, I don't know, that one you're gonna have to call me on because I just got in. The Mark whatever LSC, it only has 25,000 original miles on it. Ain't been registered since 06. Beverly Hills Ford dealer. Busted out back window. It's clean on the inside, needs paint. It ran when I parked it. I mean, it's a clean car. It's got some goo that came off the steering wheel. Actually dripping down on stuff there. Nowhere anywhere. 27,000, I'm sorry. All the books, everything. What year is this? 88. This car, I'll make you a deal on. I've been wanting to keep it for me, to redo it myself. It's a man's Mustang. That's what it is. It's a man's Mustang. Um, get this car out of here. I will make you a smoking deal. Um, God. It's a low mile, rare little baby. I sure would like to clean it up a bit and make it a little nicer. It's got the Marshall lights on it. It's got a broken piece there underneath. Um, geez, I don't know. I will take, um, let me think about this for a second. Just off the top of my head, give me 2,500 bucks for it. It's gone, 2,650 bucks, that's what I want. This one, my friend's supposed to come pick up, so let's just say it's sold. This one, articulating boom, I want it gone. $3,500, review on my channel, low miles, like 80,000 or something. Um, 495 bucks is what I said in the last video. 495 or 595, whatever I said, that's what it is, but I think it's sold. I think my 
buyer friend that's became over time in Estonia will be buying it. This one, I don't know. Ander, did you take this one too? Fuck's sake, I don't even know which Mercedes you're taking. You're taking like three or four of them. The Continental, the Lincoln. I don't know what to say on this car. It's super clean, of course the roof is gone. Big old motor. Um, the interior's even clean. It's not all ripped and torn up. That's the only real rips in the seats. Um, I'd like to clean it up and get it. Oh man, all the doors are tight. Um, get this thing out of here. First thought off my head, $3,500. Um, I, I doubt I'll repeat that. I'm gonna, some of these prices you're never gonna hear again. It's just subscriber type thing. If you've been watching, you'll see it pop up. You'll get a deal on something. If not, shit, I'll clean that thing up. Put it on eBay for $6,500. This thing, Starfire, I've showed it to a lot of people. It had a bad tank, meaning showed it to a lot of people, meaning I've showed it in a lot of walk arounds. I really didn't want to sell it. Nash or Borg Warner five speed tranny. Not even any rips or tears in the seats. Beautiful little car. Dash has a little wrong with it. Um, super clean, non rusty car. Super clean. Had a fuel pump out, so I was tinkering around with that. There's the tank, got the new pump. Super, super clean. Get this thing out of here. I want. I don't want to sell it. I don't. Um, man, I don't know. Make me an offer. Talk to me. 406-546-8748. On the three of these. I need to get rid of them. It's not cheap, okay? It's not a cheap car. These are not going to be cheap cars. This obviously is not as expensive as this, but this car is a something near Brickland. It's a nice Brickland. The insides are beautiful. It's just a nice little car. And this is a nice 65 220 SE or S. And it's in really good shape in and out. Nice car. So, okay. That takes care of those three, which are a little harder for me to come up with pricing on and such. Lots of cars here, lots of stuff. I'm gonna do another lot too. Now this one, both of these have a complete walk, all three of these have a complete walk around on my channel. I mean on, yeah, on my channel. You can also look on my webpage for this one, oneownercarguy.com. I've got three of them, four of them, four GTAs. I had a guy make me some insultingly lowball crappy offer on it that I could basically part the motors out for. And basically, these will be the kind of cars that I sit in my backyard with the other Trans Ams if I don't sell them. I'd like to make a deal on it to somebody. Um, I'm gonna think about this one and walk around this one. Made the full review of this one. If you're into a G-Body, this is a nice one. It's super clean. Um, well, obviously, the hood has its issues. You can see that in the walk around. That's the only area on this car. The whole rest of the car, around the wheel wells, Look at the way all the molding clips on and everything. All the moldings here. I mean, no rust behind the quarters, etc., etc. Clean car, except for that. Got the original wheels, just beautiful. This car, get it out of here. I don't know if I said it in another video. Twenty-three hundred and fifty bucks. This one, get it out of here. I just want it gone. Before I list it or anything like that, sixteen fifty. It's a eighty-three five twenty-eight E. Um, I don't know if anybody ever even sat in the back seat of this thing. Look at this. I don't even know if anybody ever sat in the front seat. Look at this. 98,000 original miles. Clean little car. Full review on my channel. Look at the wheels. Beautiful car. Okay, we're going to go back to the GTA now. I got another one over there. And I got a 92 on my other place, which is on my website, oneownercarguy.com, and a parts car type one as well. This one is the nicest looking um, because the paint's still shiny. Um, there is areas that are faded and such, as you can plainly see, even chipping, like there. It's going to need some cleaning up. It's got a little bit of wear on the edges of the seat. Not even from wear, just from sitting around and being old and being thin in those areas. It's just sun damage type stuff low miles 41.9 on the car it had a dash cover all these years look how clean the dash is almost perfect 
No wear on the pedals, it's true miles and all that. It's a nice car. What year is it? 87, 88, I think it's an 88. If I'm not mistaken, 1988. Come on, where's all my, oh, 787, 88. So this is a 1988 GTA. It's got the 350, TPI, all the, this is a nice one. This is the IROC Eater. There you go. That'll cause some controversy. So, I think actually that's the back wheel. And that's the front wheel. In fact, now that I'm looking, I'm positive that's the way it is. So somebody, that always happens on these cars. This one's correct. Very hard to see that. But that's the way it is. Nice car will make a great project. Um, this one runs, but we don't think we've got the, the right pressure fuel pump after we got it all together. Um, cash money, I gotta get rid of a couple of these GTAs. I'm gonna go right to the other one and show you it. This motorhome we're keeping around for whatever reason we're keeping it around. Steel on this 90, 91, 89 to 91 F350 dually. Um, show the inside, it's a roll along package. It's got the simulated Alcoa wheels and all that. Nice clean truck. Power windows, all that stuff. It's an XLT Lariat that's been made into the roll along package. So it's got all the amenities and such for the year. 460. Needs a starter. Um, and I've got some help that I've had coming out and I've just not been around enough to connect with them. They've not been around enough to connect with me type of thing. That hip right there is the only problem on the truck really besides the starter. And get this thing out of here before I get this thing done. Anything else too, like it says, good running truck, I'll take 2850 bucks. Absolute steal. If you're looking for a W140, this could be your car. If you don't know what a W140 is, etc., etc., it's likely it's not your car. I'm not gonna give a price, I want big money. It's 58,000 original miles, I've been driving it, it's got trash in it. Uh, gym bottles and such. This is a nice W140. It's my least favorite color of a W140, but that's okay because it's only got 58,000 original miles. Even the trunk sucks down correctly. Absolutely beautiful car. Tight as can be, drives tight as can be. It's a nice car. Now, if you want one that's a good drive and low mile car, this one. However, the clear coat is completely almost gone on most of the top surfaces. The bumpers are faded like they get on these years models and such. Interior is just beautiful. Somebody flung a rock into that while they were weed eating. I got my medals and stuff in the back seat, but look at the front seat. And this is the one where the wear usually is. And there just ain't none. You can't see the mileage. I think it's 82 to 89. Um, and it just got the 75,000 mile service when I got it. Um, and I've just driven it. Now it's set for a while. Look at all the clear coat on top. Trunk too. It's just, it's awful. It's completely awful. It needs tires. Other than that, you've got a low mile, nice driving W140. And the only thing I know really wrong with it is the AC blows on low. Blows cold as can be, but just low because of the little push button selector switch thing. It needs to be changed out. You can get them on eBay real cheap. 406 546 8748. Pictures on uh, my website, oneownercarguy.com, but it doesn't look as faded. Uh, you clean it up, blow that all off with a power washer, and put a coat of wax on it. It looks decent for most of the time. Mercur, 495. Get it out of here. I just want it gone. It's on my channel, it's on my website, etc., etc. It's a cheap car. <laughs> Freaking wheels are worth that. I've got two Cadillac converters. Cadillac converters. Hey! Cadillac convertibles. I don't know if that guy paid for that. I think I got a reposit and now he's been stringing me along. So I don't know what to do on this car. If you're interested in this car, call me. 406-546-8748. Okay, 67, oh, excuse me, 68 convertible. It's all here, nice car. 70 something convertible. Um, it's all here, nice car. I'm gonna put, one of the main things here about this video, I'm gonna put together a list and there will be a list of all these cars with a little description, prices, and such. Um, from there, I'm gonna try to make a deal on them. Um, here's the other GTA. 
I like this one better, I think. It's an 89. This one has T-tops, the other one doesn't. If you're gonna put a mean motor in it, T-top one is not as good for that, probably. Leather, tore up in the middle there. This one only has 20, 28,000 miles on it. No wear on the pedals. This thing is clean as can be. I really mean, it's not clean as can be, look at that. Yeah, the sun comes in through the T-tops, etc., etc. That's life, straight. Paint's coming off, faded, faded, faded. California sun, it's just the way it goes. We don't got rust, but the paint all leaves. No rust in the quarters or anything. Look at this thing. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna put together a video on this one as well, and then get them both on eBay. Now this, nothing happened to it. A tree grew into it right here, bunk. And it actually cracked that bumper cover from the tree. So, okay, that's the car. Should I give prices on them? Call me. These are the ones that I just, they're WS6 GTA Trans Ams. I'll make you a deal, I just, I'm not cheap on them. I had a guy offer some low price. Man, these cars are going on eBay for a big offer, big offer. I'll make a deal before I, if you're wanting one, call me, I'll make a deal. Now this one, same guy, he gave me $500 deposit and he says he don't have phone service. It's been two months almost. And it's a beautiful peanut butter interior car. I gotta move this stuff. I gotta get rid of this stuff. This car is just beautiful. I hate to be even selling this car. Wish I could keep it. Look at how nice and clean it is. And it's hard to see in the sunlight, I know. There ain't no wear on the pedals. This car's got 90,000 miles. It's a V12. Nice car. This car's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So, that's all the cars. Uh, and I got miscellaneous stuff to even, I can't even clean up my trash out of here because I can't get a trailer to it. So, yeehaw. Okay, that is most of the cars on this lot. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this right here. This one is for sale. If you've been looking at it, please give me a call. I don't have pictures anywhere, nothing like that. It's a very clean car, I wanna sell it. Same thing with the limo, don't have pictures anywhere. I wanna sell it. Very clean, not all rusty. Nothing like that. Very clean, super clean. How many miles? 97,000 miles on this car. So if you like a W123, there you go. The Volvo's junk, that one I'll be selling at some point, just kind of junky for now. But if any of these interest you, give me a call, oneownercarguy.com, 406-546-8748. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. If anything interests you, whether I've given a price or not, give me a call, it's for sale. You want one of the Valvoline trailers? One of the Valvoline trailers is for sale. Which one? I don't give a shit. Whichever one, I don't care. If you like the paneling on one versus the other, take the one you want. Um, I've got another lot I'm gonna do a walk around like this of, and then I'll probably do the same thing at my mom's place and combine those two. And just whatever I sell from this kind of stuff, I sell. Thanks for watching, have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. As far as help, if you're mechanically inclined and you wanted a good part-time or long-term job, I've got it available. I just need somebody who knows positive from negative, who can drive a car without bottoming it out, and who can just think ahead and be on the ball, thinking about what they can do to earn their money. That's what I need, and someone who mostly listens. If you listen to what you're being told, look, learn, listen, hey, boom, I need some help. If not, I'm thinning this crap down to where I can manage it all myself without, which I am anyway, so what does it matter? Just something to make it easier on me. So call and buy them now, take advantage of me. Kick me while I'm down, whatever you wanna say. I just don't have space in my life. I've got some totally different things going on right now than I've had going on in a long time, and I am just not gonna spend my time and spin my wheels doing the same crap with the same kind of people in the same time and the same cars. Different stuff is what's coming up here. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.